What's up, guys? Shay Stevens here, PDG number 775G2. Uh, got myself a tripod, which is really nice. Now you guys don't have to sit on my air conditioner for all this stuff. Uh, today I'm going to talk about a little putting game I like to play. It's usually my warm down game. Uh, I've heard it called two putt. I call it cha cha. Uh, probably a little very called it something else. He has a different. He's a very similar version on his channel. Uh, he's doing a series called uh, Down the Fairway. Excellent content. Definitely check it out. Uh, so the way the game works is I basically start at the five foot mark and I have two putters with me. If I make both putts, I move back. If I miss both putts, I have to move forward, and if I make one, I stay where I'm at. So the goal is to progress further uh, away from the basket, and it helps you find your problem spots. Right now, 25 feet is being a pain for me. I don't know why. Uh, so I'm gonna be bouncing around there a bit. Uh, my goal is to get to step putts, uh, and I'm working on step putts now. I've always had that little floaty air pass from Ultimate. Uh, it was a good tool for me, and I'm going to keep it, you know, it's an arrow in the quiver. But I want to add step putts more to my game, be more comfortable with it, so I am working on that. That's kind of my reward, is to get to work on them. So, uh, let's see how it goes, and throw it back to Shay in the booth. Thanks, Shay. Looking forward to commentating on my own putting. So, uh, starting off here at the 10-foot station, these are just ingrained in me now, thanks to Perfect Putt 360. It made me actually take a stance take the putt seriously, and now I have no stress over them. It's great. Uh, that also extends to the 15-foot range. Uh, it was kind of this weird, uh, I don't know what, like, do I have to kind of try to throw this, and it'll just yip a putt up there and hope it went between the uh, top band and bottom. Now I actually have a swing that I take seriously, and it takes the stress away. Uh, coming into the 20-foot range, though, uh, uh oh wheels are coming off here. Uh, really lazy on that putt, and I overcompensate and just top coming to the top chain to get spit out. So, humbling, but I have to go back to the 15-foot uh, mark. But I don't know if I've been doing this subconsciously, but during this filming, I kind of realized when I fail at something, it make, this game makes you go back to a success and learn. So on that uh, on those two putts, uh, uh, the first putt I missed, I really zipped it. I had a lot of wrist snap, but no pop. I didn't get a disc, any glide at all, so it just you know, fell out of the air. Doing those 15-foot putts reminded me, oh, yeah, get, you know, get, you get your fingers under the disc and pop it up. So I went back to a success, you know, reaffirmed it, and then go, went back to where I you know, failed before and go, you know, bang, bang, knocked them both down. I'm really happy with it. Uh, so instead of beating my head against the wall at 25 like I used to do, uh, this game is a great cooldown, especially in terms of mental game, just to get you to that positive space and then get that positive energy and go to where you're struggling and beat it. Uh, and again, because I had that struggle, I remember, gotta give that disc pop, gotta give it glide, and 25, I have been struggling there, it's been killing my perfect putt 360 scores. I went two for two there, really happy, wiping the sweat off, I am, uh, you know, out of danger, because I don't know what happened, guys, but at 30 feet, I am a god. Uh, for the past three weeks, I can't miss! Uh, I would rather be 30 feet than 25 feet right now, I don't know what it is, it's just, it's like playing catch with the basket. And it, it just doesn't go wrong. It's real easy. Uh, I'm pretty excited. Got to do a little basket repair work here because I'm you know, still working on the high basket. And, uh, yeah, I can do step putts. I'm happy. So, as I said before, I, I have been throwing. I, I do have that little air bounce shot, like uh, an ultimate pass. Uh, and I'm trying to work a step putt just more, just be more comfortable with it. Uh, I found a lot of times on the course when I step up, I kind of do what I did there. I kind of rush it and get over and get a little over a little overzealous. overzealous. Second one, a lot better, a lot more control, but I did short it, so I can go back to thirty feet now. But no problems. I'm good at thirty feet. So I might actually uh, cause some drama on the disc off the bait group later. We'll see. Because I believe there is definitely a category of circle two putts called the one foot jump putt, uh, and a lot of people who are described who are called step putters are just jumping off of one foot. So, oh, I got I got high basket right there, dead center spit. Uh, again, it's a single link basket, uh, and I also have a good piece of uh, pipe insulation wrapped around the middle, so uh, to damp dampen the noise, so don't uh, annoy my neighbors. But it is a trampoline, so I squared that one. I counted it, <laughs> so I get to go back to do my little step putts. This time, I'm taking my time, you know, relaxing, not 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 rushing it, making sure I get the good drive on the disc. Hit just, just short left on it, caught the basket, compensate on this one, and we dunk it. And we're going to wrap it up here just because I go back and forth from 30 in step putts. And I think in two more tries, I actually do hit both step putts, so I kind of win the game. 
there is no winning. You just go as long as you want. But, uh, again, guys, this game puts you in a really great mental place. Use that as your full practice or even just as the warm down like I do. Uh, it just It's a really great, you know, conclusion to your uh, practice. Uh, that being said, you know, I'm looking to do more content. I'm trying to get out there now that uh, things are starting to open up. I have this tripod now, which really gives me a little more creative leeway. You know, I'm not trying to balance my phone on a, just sitting on a, on a kickstand off a, a bench or off my bag. So I'm um, trying to get back to my home course. The designer did a really great job of putting a lot of mental traps into almost every hole. And once you understand the tricks course designers play with your head and you know how to beat them, it really makes tackling the physical challenges of this game a lot easier because you're not fighting a war on two fronts. So that's my game plan there. Uh, I'd say, as always, if you like this video, please uh, feel free to like and follow me on my page. And if you have any questions, please shoot me a message. I'll get it back to you, I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Uh, take care, guys, and stay safe.